Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to WTCA TV, coming to you today live from the global 54th annual Global Business Forum here in uh, beautiful Bengaluru, India. And I am joined by Sam Sama. I'm Barb Mitchell, your host, and I'm excited about this conversation. Wonderful. Good morning, Bob. Welcome to Bangalore, India. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It is morning here. It's our last official day of the, the conference. How's it been so far for you? Oh, wonderful. It has been really great. I've got to meet a lot of wonderful people. That's experience the city. Um, I just think I've crossed it a little bit better. I think it's very complicated, very diverse. Mm -hmm. And it's never enough to know this almost endless understanding and understanding to know the things that have been on the ground over here. It's interesting to hear you say that because I know you spend a lot of time over here. You split your time, uh, more or less, right, between the U.S. and India? Correct, correct, absolutely. So I've been coming to India for the past five years. I've been coming to India for the past five years. I've been coming to India for the past five years. I've been three to four weeks. I stayed back and I've been getting to stay in the Mumbai region. And I'm going to say go to the other region. It's never happened because there's so much to know so much to do with your community. Yeah. The cultural levels are up to them. Right, yeah. Yeah, it, it, that's right. And, and so you're in spending a lot of time in Mumbai, but you're now in Bangalore. Do you, what are some of the big differences that jump out right away? Sure. So, you know, if you go to Mumbai, it's very diverse, number one. Um, number two, you know, you're just in a massive infrastructure shift. So there's a lot of construction at this moment. From what I'm hearing is that about three to four hundred buildings that have been built, 30 floors and up. Uh, there are about 10 bridges that have been built, there are subways that have been built. So the entire city is dug up, the infrastructure has been cranked up. We see that over here, mm -hmm. but in Mumbai, it's much, much at a higher level, it's completely a different level. Right, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, to see the that is bound to come, right? The the infrastructure in the economy has been evolving, which I think we'll talk about, but also just the infrastructure of the of the cities and the country itself to support all of that. The Bengaluru Airport, people have been mentioning, brand new, beautiful. Absolutely, right. absolutely. And that's kind of what we've been seeing all around Mumbai and the city of also Bengaluru. So I want to get an exposure of what is happening now. Things are like right where we stand right across the street is Amazon Water. So that's a really that's an interesting point that I want to talk about just with respect to this particular um, global business forum is the opportunities that so many people have expressed that they've had. I mean, you were able to go and tour Amazon. Other people have been able to go out and see some of the other local businesses. Let's talk about this forum for a second in particular and and some of those opportunities for yourself, but also for some of your, your maybe your colleagues and partners. So, you know, uh, this event has been very interesting as an international level. You get to see delegates from all around the world. And I met some interesting, really interesting people that are from Vietnam, from Philippines, the markets that we want to go to. And it's again a projection of one year, two year, three years. So, I met really interesting people who talk to them and they're saying, how it is on the ground and everything. So, it kind of puts you a little bit of a piece that you have somebody that is going to help you walk you through and educate you. And it's a work of progress. So, I see that when you try to get into the new market, you have to do a few days if you want to do your studies and you have to understand the market. So, in the States, we have our own culture, our ways of doing business, but the way things are happening on the ground is totally different in every hotel, every different market that you go into. So I'd love to talk now for a minute about, we've been talking about India and the, and the forum, but let's talk about you. Let's talk about you and your business and, and what you hope to take back from here um, to benefit your organization. Sure. So I was saying about the for the I always want to know we want to expand in different regions, such as Peru, we want to expand in New Delhi, Hyderabad, to other areas of the main centers. I do. To get to those places, we really need to do studies. And this is really the main thing that we come in, see the ground, how the city is, how is the infrastructure, how are the people moving around. It's just a lot of things, what is happening, what are the plans. And it's completely different than Mumbai. Okay. And, you know, everybody thinks Mumbai is a commercial center, true, but it's a lot of business over here also. Right. So you need to engage in the Silicon Valley of India, they can say. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The 
And what do you hope people remember about your company when they do, when they go back to their Interesting. And so, when you when we talk about that, and with the, uh, the perspective of from the perspective of U.S. businesses versus India businesses versus you know one of the a company from one of the 37 countries that are represented here, are you seeing some of the same issues come up, same challenges? Thank you. So, um, so I guess just in closing, any any, any final thoughts on, on the week? Any final things you're looking forward to or any final sentiments you want to share? Uh, India is a good market. I think, you know, we should all, as a vessel country, look into it. Uh, so it's kind of trying to wear a city's 1992 or 1994. It's evolving. It's developing. Uh, they are pro-Americans. It's just like we need to make sure that the business that you have to follow through and don't have wrong expectations. Just because they have 1.5 billion people, it really doesn't mean it's 1.5 billion people. You know, this is maybe 100 billion. And every country in the world, and the rest of the country, is competing the world. They're already here. Right. So if you think you have a matter of time, it's going to be a bit too late. It's going to be too early to try and come over here and slowly but surely build the other possibilities. So the time is now. Exactly. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. I really appreciate thank having you. Yeah. Yes, we'll see. We'll see you at the closing tonight. Thank, thank you. you for your time, and thank you to our viewers for tuning in to WTCA TV Live. Continue tuning in throughout the course of the day as we'll be bringing you more conversations from great leaders from around the globe at the 54th Annual Global Business Forum here in Bangalore. Until next time.